Okay, how about this? How about just because they know who we are? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the second intro. Welcome to Two Drink Minimum. Uh, hopefully, Yan doesn't fuck me over again. How about that? We're good? Yeah. We're good? All right, this is Poseidon. That is Mike Ward. You already know them. Well, you know him. This, you'll hear about it Thank in a God second. You don't know. Thank God you don't know me, basically. Thank God you don't know him. <laughs> so last night, uh, I, I saw exclusive video of you stoned out of your fucking mind, touching... You're very touchy-feely. Well, as high as balls, bro. <laughs> I, I know, but still. We're going to take this slow. We're going right. to ease everyone into it. Yeah. So for okay. those of you who haven't been paying attention, Poseidon agreed to uh, take some MDMA and Viagra, go to a swingers club, okay? But we needed a chaperone. We found someone who she's like, I'll chaperone him, but we need to test him first, make sure he's not rapey on MDMA. Uh, we have to do a trial run. The trial run was yesterday. And okay? he passed the test. With 62%. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. technically Should he passed. Should be noted. Technically he passed. <laughs> it wasn't, you know. I am. The reason why I took videos and I sent them to Mike was because I felt like I needed proof. I Because when I was going to describe this stuff, I was like, no one's going to believe me. So I pulled out my phone. I go, I have to tape it. This is unreal. Because So we're there and she was a very nice host. She's like, you know, just don't be a fucking weirdo. And uh, Poseidon was acting all macho. He starts up. He's like, let me take one of those pills. So Poseidon swallows an MDMA pill. And I was like, this is going to be an adventure. Did you drink any alcohol with it? Yeah. Or? Later. Okay. Afterwards. And uh, any weed or anything no. else? Okay. No, nothing like, nothing like okay. that. But the alcohol and the MDMA did the trick. Because at first, at one point, he's sitting there and he goes, is this a placebo? <laughs> <laughs> and... And we look at him, we're like, why would you ask? He's like, because I'm feeling very high right now. <laughs> Sound like this motherfucker doesn't know what placebo means. Because uh, <laughs> that question doesn't yeah. make any sense, Mike. Yeah. So and you gave him a dictionary and he <laughs> was like, is this a placebo? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know, so he's panicking. <laughs> oh, shit. So we're observing him. And then at one point, he's like, yo, I'm feeling something. And he started touching the countertop. He was like... Yo, this feels fucking good. <laughs> and he's just touching it, so I'm staring. I'm like, okay, if this is all it is, this is an easy night. Nothing's going to happen. But then she got up, and uh, she went to the kitchen to see him. You know, she was going to smoke too. And he just grabs her, and he's like, let me touch your skin a bit. Let me touch your it skin. It wasn't like that. It was, because I had this really? on tape. Shit. Yeah. And so he's, he's grabbing her arm, like kind of, remember the Adams Family, Whoa. Gomez and Morticia? He was pulling one of those just, he's like, oh, fuck, yeah. And she has her arm out, and he's just like, yeah, this feels fresh. <laughs> and and she, he's like, I know you got more freckles. Turn around. Let me see your back. Let me I see know you got more freckles. Yeah. He goes, I, he goes I've seen your photos. Let me, let me see your freckles. So now it's getting creepy. Let me see your freckles. Well, hold on, hold God on. God damn, that uh, sounds uh, rapey. Can I explain to you <laughs> from my point of view when I was high as balls? Yeah, what did you see? Okay. Everything, it was like sensory overload, okay? So, like, everything I touch was like, what the fuck? So then even when I touched myself, I was like, well, I had the same reaction. It was like, holy shit, right? Yeah. So, like, and then, like, I saw an attractive woman in front of me. I was like, I wonder what an attractive woman feels like on this drug. So that's how it... Uh, Did she you know? feel better than uh, you felt? I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> so you, touching her, you're like, eh, okay. Touching yourself, amazing. Oh, oh you mean like, okay, never mind. Uh, no, she felt just as good. It was trippy. Okay. He was playing yeah. with her hair a lot. Yeah, the hair yeah. was like... The yeah, hair was you, wild. You and he like, kept... Video of uh, you going, your hair is crazy, so soft. Yeah, he kept yeah. yelling, so silky. Soft. Can I Silky. touch your hair? I swear to God, it was like it was like silk. It was like fucking. It was wild. Yeah, it was wild. Uh, me observing this, so I started to panic. I was like, if a rape happens, like, am I an accessory? Like, what happens right now? Because he was getting. He's a big guy. Yeah. And he wouldn't let go. He was hugging. He's like, no, nothing sexual. Don't no, worry. No, no. Don't worry. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just like, oh, I hope this doesn't go off the rails because I do not want to go to jail for this. You know, like if I'm gonna go to jail, no, no, it yeah. doesn't. I don't no, want it to be because of him. Nothing, you know? nothing like that. But also, she just... could take care of herself, so she wasn't too nervous. She's like, don't worry, I can handle this cocksucker. And I was like, I don't know, because he's he's a monster when he wants to be, right? So then, anyways, he started to get a little uh, more sexual, right? Yeah. Well, uh, hold on. The 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 pictures of butts on the fridge didn't help. He was looking at pictures of asses, and he's like, 
whose ass is this? I want it. And can you introduce me? And just very, like a weird crackhead in your basement. Okay. It was very, very weird. And then. Did he, he ask to be introduced to an ass? Yeah. <laughs> Multiple times. Okay. Multiple times, okay? <laughs> so he's, uh, anyway, so he's freaking out a bit, but he's calm. He said he's happy. No, I wasn't freaking out, actually. I didn't see it as freaking out. I, I, I was just having a I'm good time. I'm saying how we saw it, right? Yeah. No, but to me, it seemed like Everyone I was just having... Everyone else was freaking out. Yeah, because he started, yeah. I'm not going to say what he said, but basically he kept divulging secrets he didn't have to. Because he didn't have, so that's why I'm not saying, because it's none of my business, but it's just, he would be like, I got to tell, I got to get something up my chest in 2019. And he would say something like, whoa, 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 whoa. So we look at each other. <laughs> She's like, why did he say that? I was like, I don't fucking know. I didn't ask him anything. I'm on my phone. Like, I'm not even... He's like, it was just bothering me. I was like, I would have never known. Don't tell me these things. These are personal things you should keep to yourself. You know, so he kept divulging a lot, too much information. Is that normal? I thought MDMA was just you liked getting touched and touching things. I didn't realize that was a thing that you, like, tell your secrets. Well, you also get more, like, I guess, in tune with your emotions. So, like... Like, I was able to feel, like, everyday pain that I don't feel. I was able to feel it. Like, my jaw and my back. He like, kept clicking his jaw. I forgot about that. Like a cokehead. Yeah. He kept doing this. Well, I, I have... I don't know. And my jaw hurts. I'm like, yeah, stop doing that. And I don't remember how I injured my jaw in the past. I don't remember how I injured my jaw. But oh, we remember. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, every time I eat Is uh, it just steak, the jaw or the, to uh, the tonsils, too? Yeah. No, no, the bottom. Okay. The bottom jaw. Okay. And, uh, and the back of the throat didn't no, no, get hurt? <laughs> okay. You're naughty, naughty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so just the bottom. So uh, it was thick and short. <laughs> <laughs> it's his jaw problems, neck problems. Yeah. No problem. yeah. <laughs> so uh, every time I eat like steak or something, it clicks. Probably like, I, I guess too many punches maybe, possibly. He's an alien. So, uh, so yeah, and then... Uh, <laughs> Or oh. an African fellow. Who knows? <laughs> what? <laughs> so whenever you go to a steakhouse, you eat steak. All people hear is... No, you hear... I can't do it right now because it hurts. Like, I, I barely even ate now. Do you want cause... some ecstasy? No, it's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was like, I feel all the knots in my... I feel so much back pain. Oh. He's like, my jaw hurts. I was like, yeah, because you're acting like a psychopath. Stop doing that. He's like, it hurts. It's going crazy. You know what? You think and, I'm and then, me next time, And then bro. he would do this. You do this. You'd get quiet and be like... But my ankles, my ankles don't hurt. And I was like, yeah, because you're sitting. He's like, yeah, but my jaw. <laughs> Just crazy shit, right? <laughs> so I had, basically, uh, we wanted to Fuck. see the setup, all that. Then I had to go to a gig to do some stand-up and then go back, right? I was always nervous about leaving because I didn't want him to do anything stupid. But before I left, I was like, maybe he's calming down a bit now. He was going up to her and he's like, yo, let me tell you what I like. This is the video that you saw. He's like, so what I would do to you, hypothetically, if you would let me. Like, not now, not if you don't want to. But I would start licking your knee. And he was rubbing her leg in a yeah. very creepy very, like, yeah, yeah. backhand, but just one finger way. So it was kind of like a, you know, rubbing yeah. like this. Yeah. Like that? And she tried like to this. joke to defuse the situation. She's like, what about my feet? He's like, no, I don't like feet. And then she's like, but I have nice feet. And he's like, yeah, yeah you're not understanding me. I don't have a thing for feet. I'm not a feet guy. And he's like, but I would grab you. She's like, no, no, but I have really nice feet. He's like, God damn it. Uh, I, have, I don't like feet. So I'm not going to. He kept fighting the foot thing. And then it goes, just listen, hypothetically, if you let me, I start licking your knee, then go up, I'd lick that pussy. And, and then I'd get all up in that asshole. And she's like, Jesus Christ, right? So she's laughing at me. And he's like, ha, ha, ha. He's like, he's like trying to see how much he could get away with, right? Well, because like, in my head, I was just having fun. Yeah. You know? That's just uh, banter. That's just <laughs> talking, shooting thought the breeze. I thought everyone was enjoying themselves. So. That's elevator talk. We kind of were. I mean, me and her had a good laugh. Uh, so then I have to go to my gig. So I'm like, look, please, I hope he doesn't do anything. So I leave. I go do my set. I come back like an hour. What was it, an hour and a half later? Can I take over from here? Well, you can take over, but I, I, I got to say what I saw when I walked in. Uh, and then you can explain how you got there. Yeah. So um, uh, I go, like, basically I make a phone call. And I'm like, is everything okay? Is there blood everywhere? She's like, there's no blood everywhere. There's baby oil all over the place. And she hangs up. And I was like, there's baby oil all over the place. What did he do? So I go upstairs. I knock on the door. The door opens. And you, I expect to see the person who owns the fucking house to be there. There's no one in front of me. I see her all the way down the hall. So I'm like, who opened? I go, did Poseidon open the fucking door? And he's hiding. So I look in the back. I see Poseidon. Took off his shirt. He was shirtless. Covered in baby oil. And he was wearing a dog collar. 
<laughs> like this. And I was like, what the fuck happened? He's like, bro, this is the best night of my life. Yeah, it got a little, it got a little freaky. And I was like, what happened? And then I'll go back in time now. We'll lip aside and describe yeah. what happened while I was away. Because then I got something to add to it that she told me. So, uh, so he leaves and the, the, uh, the high from the first MDMA started wearing off. So you took another MDMA. So hold on, yeah. He took and, a second MDMA! And then, and, then, uh, and then I'm there. I'm like, fuck, I don't want this feeling to leave. It feels good, right? Yeah. And she's like, oh, you should take another one. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. She's and a I influence. took another one, right? So whatever, we just start talking. I start feeling good again. And I don't know. I don't remember how the conversation led to this, but it ended up with me massaging her. The, you know how it ended up like that? Is you asked her, can I massage you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's how it happened. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. She's like, she's like, I'll let you massage me if you put this do uh, dog collar on. She's smart. So I'm like, ah, fuck it. So I put it on, which I realized I'm a bit more of a freak than I thought I was. Was it uh, a shock collar? No, no, no. It was just uh, like a regular okay. leather collar. I'm like, fine, whatever. So uh, it, it was funny because I, I remembered something cringy that I did also. Well, today. don't ruin the end of that story because I'm going to tell the end of that story. I, okay, you're going to tell it. But I'm just going to say this. I, I was massaging her, you know. She has a nice body and everything. So I'm enjoying it. Except her disgusting feet. And I, <laughs> 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 he likes the war amps, him. He's a war amps kind of guy. And like, and like to yeah, me, the... the, the jerk <laughs> off the war amps commercial. Yeah. Oh, no oh, feet. This is hot. It's the people with no... They, it's all uh, amputees. I, I, limbs that are missing. Yeah. Oh, shit. You like post-war Bosnians, yeah. basically. That's what you're into. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, like, me, 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 I find the, the... I really like the female body, right? I see it like art. Like, I like it a lot, right? So, like, I was, like, fucking... It's classy. I you was, like it like art? Yeah, I like it a lot. Like, okay. it's nice. Like, I like it. Yeah. I like it like art. Uh, I would heist, No, but I see it. I would I see steal it. it. Uh, I, no, no, I see it like art, like... It's like I know you. You're very respectful of the female form. Yeah. We know everybody here sees you. They're like that guy. Yeah. That guy's respectful to the female form. We get it. Yeah. We we all see the same thing. So I felt a bit like an artist at the moment. So I was just you felt fucking, like an artist, of course. I was just yeah. Fucking. So oh, finally, <laughs> she lies down, uh, and you know I start massaging. You know I was getting a little too into it. Uh, yeah. A little too into it. So I gotta take. But over. hold on, I said something that you don't know. I said. Hold on. I, As I'm massaging, I'm saying, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> He's singing yeah. the lyrics to I love it when you call me Big Papa by Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> Thinking, this bitch is getting wet right now. Yeah. I got this. Um, she, she didn't expect me to have these dope-ass rhymes. <laughs> I'm cleaning house tonight. So anyways, so now I'll, I'll tell you what I found out from her. So basically, at this point is when I called. I was trying to come up, you know? Uh, so as soon as that happened, he panicked. And he's like, oh, shit, Pendel's going to get here. So he goes up to her. He was, he was, and he goes, can I shove my face in your ass? <laughs> can I put my face in your ass? And she's like, no. And he's like, please. He's coming up. Let me put my face in your ass. <laughs> Look. In my defense, she had a very nice ass. Yeah, we, we're not debating that. What we're saying is you kept asking to put your face in her asshole. Yeah. And the first no okay. should have sufficed. Yeah, but, but you're uh, like panicking. Like, He's coming up. Let me do it now. before, Because if I see it, well, then hold on. Well, hold on. <laughs> so it's exactly like art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's when I walked up. I yeah. opened the door. I see him in a collar, shirt off, <laughs> olive, uh, he, olive oil, baby he oil. Had a, he had like a wife beater, though. He had a right? wife beater, but it was, it was see-through like because... Like paper thin. Yeah, it was paper thin, and all the oil had went through. That's why I saw oh. spots. I'm like, are you sweating? He's like, there's a lot of sweat, and there's a lot of baby oil. I was like, what? Did you guys fuck? And she's like, I didn't fuck him. You know, she's freaking out. But he tried to put his face in my ass. And I was like, what the fuck did I miss? And then he's like, I took a second MDMA. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I was away for an hour. I was away for a goddamn hour. This is a crime scene. Ah. <laughs> but she's a good sport because she said, look, he wasn't violent, so I'll take him to the swingers club. And also, uh, from what I understand, she enjoyed the massage. Of course. You, you're a big, strong man. You could give a good massage. Yeah. But you know what makes massages better? What? Not trying to shove your face in people's asses. Yeah. 
Wh- I gotta work on that. I'm I gotta work ex- on that. I'm not an expert. I'm not Look, an expert. I gotta work on that. But I know if we go like a spa Scandinavian over here, we ask them their etiquette. <laughs> 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 when you go in, they're like, "You want the the ass face situation or no? <laughs> What do you, are you? It's extra. If you want, Look, we'll shove our faces in your asshole." In my defense, we I've have never. Three types of massages. We have the Swedish massage. We have Asian ladies that can walk on your back, or we can have a fat uh, Greek guy <laughs> jam his face up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> They're all. <laughs> and he's the only one. He's like behind a curtain. He's like, <laughs> pick the Greek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kept talking about eating assholes a lot. It made me laugh. Yeah, he's like my favorite thing to do. And he thought he was suave. He kept he kept yelling to turn the music up. Oh, you were dancing. I saw yeah. you dancing. It's grooving. And yeah. she was like. Yeah. That's what he said because this is what he said proving. verbatim because he kept wanting the music to be too loud and she's like, okay, it's loud. I want to talk. I'm having a conversation. I don't want it too loud, right? So every time he'd be like, I'm grooving. Can you put the music up? And then she's like, I'll put up a bit. He's like, come on. Please put it up. Put it up. I'm grooving. Please put it up. And I was like, fucking Jesus Christ, bro. Come on. Like, and he's like, guys, put it up. I'm grooving. Like it was very weird. It was very well, weird. Because when you're on MDMA, you don't just hear the music. You, you feel, feel the, the music. music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the music was stupid because I felt stupid, bro. Let me tell you, it was, uh, <laughs> it was a fucking feeling and a half. Yeah. But God, well, I don't act like that sober. <laughs> What part of that don't, that's always you. You just, What do you you mean? just didn't have the same rhythm. You on MDMA is you sober plus dancing. Mm. No, it isn't. I've never once in my life as I'm massaging a woman said... Can I please put my face in your ass? Who have Never. you massaged other than people? Like, who did you massage? Other women. Yeah, but who? What do you mean who? No, no I mean, like, were you sec? Were you gonna bang these broads? Yeah, we were gonna So fuck. that's why you didn't say shit like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. you didn't ask to put your face in, in, you just in did their it. ass. You just did it. <laughs> yeah. There's a difference. Well, look, because, like, uh, I know we don't ask. I just do Hold it. Hold on, look, look. What look. Am I, when I'm sober, <laughs> when I'm sober, I can read the room, right? If she's into it or whatever. You know, so, like, I'll just go for it, you know? Uh, oh but yeah, like, but on MDMA, but I was high. Thought, I couldn't fully read the room, you know. So like, I asked just in case. It's the room's fault, you know. <laughs> I couldn't fully read the room. Did you think she wanted you when you were massaging her? I have no clue what the fuck I was, was oh, going through my head. He did. He was like he said, "Bro, I'm so vibing." <laughs> how how did the the you massaging her go? Uh, uh, you had the 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 dog collar on yeah. the whole time you Very were weird, massaging like, her. Yeah. yeah. Seeing him in a wife beater with oil stains and sweat and, and, dog and the collar. dog collar, like as soon as I saw that, I was like, I, I'm too old for this. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> When you sent me st- the video, it looked like a 1980s wrestler that would lose every, <laughs> every match. That's what it looked like, yeah. yeah. But just the way. It's a sad pervert. <laughs> this <laughs> week, <laughs> Macho Man versus the sad pervert. <laughs> <laughs> it was, oh, shit. It was a sight to fucking behold. And when I went to my gig, uh, my gig, because it was Sid, it was Sid's room, and he's like, why are you so stressed out? Because I called, I go, put me on at the end of the show, because I, I want to stay some more here in case he does something. And when I got there, and he's like, what happened? And I told him what was happening beside it, and he's like, what the fuck kind of life is this kid living? Like, <laughs> what is he doing right now? I go, he's high, I just hope he doesn't kill or rape the woman. Like, that's... <laughs> That, that's my no. only concern. I was super stressed out. No, you should never be concerned about that. Why would I never be concerned about that? Because I would never kill and rape anyone. At the same Unless time? Unless they tried to kill and rape me. So if somebody tries to kill, rape you, you're going to have to kill and rape them? You can't no, just no, kill just, them? No, no, just kill them. Just you kill wouldn't them. kill ra- and rape. <laughs> Hold you on, that came out wrong. <laughs> you wouldn't kill and rape, but how about rape and kill? Is no. it the order that's... Uh... <laughs> Is the order off? Is that what's fucking with you? No, if someone tried to rape and kill me, I just killed them. And then rape them? No. <laughs> No, no rape and What balls. if a Someone really, really hot chick tried to rape and kill you? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And no feet stuff. Hold on. He's like, this is some insane. Depends on the shit. kind of rape. Okay. It doesn't depend on the type of murder. Well, hold like, on, hold on. Hold on. I, look, what, I, but, if Mike, someone wanted to kill me, I, believe I wouldn't be you, like, but, what kind on. of blowjob am I going to no, get? No, no, hold on. But you know what I like about him saying that? It's such a weird thing to say. It depends on the kind of rape. He's literally the person who's like, she was raped, huh? But what was she wearing? No! Nah! Like, he's that guy. He's that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> but, uh, like, if it was like, just sucking my dick rape, 
and writing me. Just sucking my dick right And writing me. Like, she's you not your be, uncle, bro. She's, she's not your uncle. No, she forced me. It was, you she, should be a, a police officer in the gay village. <laughs> Just so whenever there's a dude that walks in that got raped, you're like, was it a rape rape or a sucking, a sucking your dick rape? <laughs> sucking my dick rape. Yeah, or like, I don't know, puts you on the ground and starts riding you type of shit. Then like, yeah, I'd be okay with that. I'm I'm a slut. I'm with whatever. You That's know, not so. a rape though. That's just a girl with uh, low standards. Yeah, well, that, there's that too. But yeah. imagine while she's doing it, he's like, "You could do better." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did your father do to you? Yeah. Why no, by the way, I found out a lot. So she was explaining to me a lot of like different stuff about the underworld and like a lot of stuff that happens here. I found something out like there was a whole situation years ago where like a group of prostitutes was mad at another prostitute uh, in Montreal and they were trying to make her out to be a racist because of a title of something she was doing. Okay. And I was like, when you hear that, like a bunch of prostitutes like, that's racist. You can't use the word. It was the word hoe. White people can't use the word hoe. Uh, and I told her, I go, for a bunch of whores, they're very sensitive, right? And she agreed. She's like, yeah, they shouldn't be this fucking sensitive. Like the word hoe is what threw off prostitutes. The word ho is only black prostitutes? That's, that's can what use they that? said, yeah. Really? Yeah. Do they say, like, stop using the, the H word or the W word? She didn't or say. No, yeah, because whore is W, ho oh, is, is H. H. Yeah. yeah. Stop using the H word. Yeah, so they must hate Santa Claus, yeah. bro. They fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Montreal prostitutes don't like Santa, apparently. So, yeah, she was telling me that, and I was like, that's for a bunch of fucking prostitutes. Like, that's where you draw the line? Really? Like. It's fucking crazy, bro. I saw a thing this week that uh, that was kind of like that. There's um there's a, a girl on Twitter who's a Satanist, and she's trying to uh she's trying to ruin Marilyn Manson's career. I saw because she's saying he he uh he uh, she's saying that he raped his ex girlfriend or bullied his ex girlfriend, and she's like we shouldn't we shouldn't let uh, monsters like that. But she's a Satanist. Like, wouldn't Satan be like what he raped her? Good job. Yeah, like <laughs> exactly. So yeah. A Satanist, like a s- Satan wants you to fucking murder. Yeah, right? she's not. A... It's weird being for Satan but woke at the same time. Yeah, how do you mix both of them together? Yeah, yeah that's kind of retarded. So you go yeah. to hell. You got guys from the KKK that hung people, and then you're like, you hung someone good. That's very. But I hung hung a black dude. They're called African Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That, that's so weird. It's like they walk in, they're like, fuck Jesus, but let Jesus into the country. Yeah. Let's not fucking mix yeah. these things up. Like that. <laughs> that's what it is. That was that's, a good one. It took yeah. me a while. But it I was a good it. one. It hey, I one. work on fucking I liked levels. It. I liked it. Yeah. How, how did the, it feel, the knuckles? It felt, uh, felt normal. Oh, so just before I forget, he fucking, today, because today I had a long day. I woke up in the morning. I had to take my mom to church. We had a memorial, all this stuff, right? And my mom punched an old woman in the face. I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay. Oh, um, shit. It was an accident, but it was hilarious. Uh, but he called me, and he's like, I think the pills fucked me up. This is on speaker uh, in the car. What? Was yeah. your mom in the car? My mom was in the car. Oh, and it shit. Was, yeah. So I was trying to hang him up, and I was yelling at him, and he wouldn't hang up. He's like, uh, my dick, I think the pills fucked up. My dick doesn't work. I'm watching porn. Nothing's happening. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm yelling. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know? And he's like, what, bro? It's not my fault. The pill, I looked on Google. They said it affects your penis. I go, it doesn't have long-term effects on your penis. You fucking idiot. Shut the fuck up. He's like, but I'm watching porn. Nothing's working. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm just yelling on the phone. And then my mom's like, what the fuck are you people doing? Like, what is this? What life are you living? What life are you living? Why is he saying these things? Whoops. <laughs> yeah, whoops. So yeah, so so I take her to my mom's getting an eye surgery on uh, Tuesday, so she has to take a COVID test. Okay. So I take her there after the church. So it was all like timed properly. So she was nervous about that because she already took one and it hurts. She doesn't like it. So first of all, going to the church, she's walking up the stairs and then she falls down. All right? She falls down because she got mixed up. She got excited. She's like a salmon. She doesn't fall down. She falls up. Okay. Okay. So then I pick her up and I'm like, God, you're right. She's like, I'm all right. Uh, I know that. You know what's crazy? Last time I went to church, two old people fell in the stairs. <laughs> These fucking they're, churches. They're always falling in the stairs. <laughs> Couldn't they fucking like get Fuck. a lift or something? Yeah, something. Or a or, ramp. But I told her, just grab the rail. You don't have to fucking yeah. go all gangster on that shit. So then we, we're, we're in the pews, you know, we're standing up. And she, she's getting hot. She's wearing her jacket. She's like, come and take my, my coat off. So I'm on her right. And she takes off her coat. And she just extends her arms like this. And there's a woman sitting right in front of me, right in front of the pews. And she just punches this old lady right in the fucking back. Like this. Boof. And the lady goes, fl- her whole body moves. And I was behind. So all I see is the lady getting punched by my mom and moving like this. And I start laughing. But I had the mask on. So I was like this, like laughing. And I turn to look at my mom. 
doesn't say anything. The lady turns back, looks at my mom, like, what the fuck? My mom's like this. What? <laughs> what? what? Like, that's, that's normal behavior. Yeah. And I'm just like, I have a smile in my mask. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And then I'm like, that's my mom. That's who she is. She's punching old ladies. Yeah. She's falling downstairs, punching old ladies in the face, gets in a car. This guy's talking about his dick not working. That's a regular day for my mom, apparently. Yeah. And then I took her for the COVID test. And they fucked up, and they had to then take another one. And the first one that the first one that they fucked up on apparently was hurting her for like two hours. Oh really? Yeah, the lady said, "Jim, excuse." They went in too deep. Something like that. Yeah. Jim, excuse, she said, and then she's like, "It's hurting me. I don't want to do this again." And then she's like, "Why did they make me do this? Fucking, isn't there a better way to do this?" And then I started thinking, I go, "There probably is a fucking better way." But then I found out it's because it's the fastest way to get the results. It's not the only way, okay. but it's the fastest way to get results. That's the way they do it. Like it's convenient. What are the other ways? So you can get it from saliva, or it, but it just depends how far because it starts here apparently. Okay. So if they catch it early, you know, because if it's already in your saliva, it's probably already spread and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. So that's the excuse, but it's hurting the old. The old people are. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah. It feels like someone's shoving something going up your brain. She's had two tests already. Two, well, I guess three today for the yeah. failed one. Yeah. Because she had for the first eye, they had to do that surgery, and now she's doing the second one on Tuesday. As long as it comes back negative, they tell her she's positive for COVID, okay. she's going to do another test. And then she said, if I have that, I'm not going to do the surgery. I'm going to be able to see from one eye. Fuck them. I'm not doing another COVID test. She wants to be a fucking pirate, apparently. <laughs> what is she getting? Did, did she have a. She had something was wrong with her eyes. Like there was, a, like she like was seeing spots and stuff. Or? Yeah, I guess. And they fixed one. She could see perfectly. She doesn't okay. even need glasses now in that eye. Okay. So when they fixed the other one, it's kind of like she's getting almost free LASIK because it wasn't for fixing her eyesight, but they fixed her eyesight. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so she won't have to wear glasses anymore. But she'll have a, a nose that hurts. A nose that hurts. Well, yeah. unless now it was negative, then she's going to go on Tuesday and it's going to okay, be all good. Yeah. yeah, a little gangster lady. Yeah. Give Probably a is negative, though. Where it's would she me. get it? She Me? Yeah. But you're you're not like the only people now that I'm worried about are people with kids that go to school, and it's weird how they're closing like all the bars, they're closing everything, but the only people getting infected are from their kids at school, or house parties. Yeah, but where are these kids getting it from? I don't know. See what I mean? It's fucking. I don't. I don't even know what to do. By the way, like I know today is a weird day because like I had to run. I went to the comedy. Like I did stand up here, went to the comedy nest, and then came here, and. The comedy nest had cancellations because they announced code orange and people panicked and said, I'm canceling my tickets because there's a color on screen. I can't go to code orange. I can't go outside. COVID knows about colors. Mm. So people are <laughs> like, people are fucking scared. Like, cause I go, but what does it change? You had your yeah. tickets. It's the same thing. Like, no, but now it's a code orange. Like yeah. I'm cool with fucking yellow, green, but orange. You guys fucking crazy. Fuck the code black. I'm never going out. Mm. Very scared of that. My TV's what gonna go missing. It? It's green, chances. green, yellow, orange, something, and red. Or is y there? Yan, what is it? What are the fucking codes here? Do they make any sense? Do we have a code white, where it's people with torches walking down the street? Because <laughs> I always get mixed up between the codes and the belts in karate. <laughs> <laughs> there's a code white. There's people dressed like ghosts yeah. on horses. Stay so, inside. Oh, merci. So it's code red. A uh, code green is good. So why? Is, why is that even a code? That shouldn't. Yeah, exist. that shouldn't be yeah, a code. Seriously. Shouldn't green should be every be day? Just life. Yeah. So there's yeah. life. Then there should be code green, which is good, but there's a little COVID. Yeah. Code yellow, kind of COVID. But if you're doing green yellow, it should be green yellow red, like a yeah. Like where a does the orange come in? Light. Yeah. It's just an extra one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That that's uh, uh, four color. Oh, it's f not five. It's green, four. yellow, orange, and red. So we're we're one level before red. Yeah, we're one level before mass suicide. Yeah, what the? F <laughs> yeah. And three red weeks, fucking gun right in the <laughs> mouth. Red, red is a full lockdown again. Is that what red is? Yep, Charles says yep. Yeah, it's maximum color. Uh, a drastic measure. To stop the transmission. Drastic measure. It's like Joe Biden. Stuff that you can't control. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, well, if I get elected in November, I promise to stop hurricanes. What did he say? Hurricanes, uh, forest fires, and COVID-19. All things that you cannot vote into practice, you fucking retard. Did Joe Biden say that for yeah. real? That he, he was going to stop hurricanes? Yeah, he said that part of the reason. Yeah, because he said he's going to 
do something about global warming and shit because he thinks hurricanes only happen now because because of all the global warming, they were a thing. Of the, they never really happened before. Yeah. And he thinks that that's something people vote in. Like people sit down and they're like, we, we need some fucking hurricanes. Do we have a yay? Yay or nay? And then people are like, yay, hurricanes. Like, all right. And he's like, I got to put a stop to that. These fucking people can't keep voting in hurricanes. The guy's lost his fucking mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know what it is now? It's two of the dumbest kids in school <laughs> fighting for class yeah. president. And everyone else is like, yeah. I don't want to join in. I just want to watch these retards go at it. Like, <laughs> hopefully they don't blow each other and expose themselves. And but they're, that's... and they're both like close to eighty. They're very just just old yeah. senile people. Yeah. Yeah. They're people that like twenty years ago would have lost their job because they were too old to work. Yeah, <laughs> but but I really want to see these fucking debates, yeah. bro. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I, too bad they're not doing it on Rogan. I would have liked that. Yeah, they they tried to cancel Rogan. I don't know if you saw. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Caitlyn Jenner and yeah, some, some yeah. people on Spotify. I love how Caitlyn Jenner. She was like, my my daughters are richer than Joe Rogan, and they made their money because they work hard. And they and I was like, yeah, but what about the sex tape? Yeah. And the, <laughs> <laughs> no, because he goes, he doesn't know about hard work, but he's the one who actually went from nothing to riches. Yeah. And they were rich. Yeah. And then not only were they rich, and like. I gotta get they richer. They were rich and beautiful, and then just became a little more rich. Yeah, they're like they were already rich and beautiful, and they're like, the NBA has a lot of dicks I could suck. Uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. And then apparently they're heroes. Yeah. So I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know. Would you start sucking NBA dicks if you could get Kendall Jenner money? How no. many MDMA pills would it take for you to suck a, a suck a big cock? Or just but not up. like a LeBron James size yeah. cock. Like a Kyle Lowry, like a little dick. This is a heavy question. <laughs> Probably a heavy dick, too. Let me tell you, bro. These... I don't know. I never gave this any thought. Two MDMA, one Cialis. Why Cialis? I'm getting my dick sucked. Cialis no, no, he's, for him. You're sucking their oh, dick. No. Cialis for I him. Think it's, oh, so you don't want to be aroused. If you're aroused, it's gay. But if you're not aroused, it's cool. It just work. <laughs> is exactly the sound you'd make. <laughs> <laughs> He's dreaming. He's like, I could taste the NBA championship. This is good. Hey, point is, yeah, they were trying to cancel him. They said he's transphobic. Um, but I saw what they were talking about, and it doesn't make sense because... I, I'm all for saying the truth. Call something what it is, right? You know, like if he starts going around beating up gay people just because they're gay, that's uh, homophobic. You know, yeah. it's, it's self-hating homophobia. But for Joe Rogan, <laughs> he was just criticizing. Uh, he was just making fun of that family, and he yeah. was making fun of the the how they're crazy bitches and all that. And then, oh, because you're making fun of me, and I'm part of this, that means that you hate this yeah. group. If we start dissect, yeah. like TMZ was dissecting the and joke. It's, a jo- it's so obvious that it's a joke. Yeah. I was like, yeah. so you think Joe Rogan really thinks that your family are a bunch of actual goblins that transform at night and they're mythical creatures? You guys are on TMZ saying this? That's actually kind of suspect. <laughs> Go that on. they would get offended by that. Why is that suspicious? Maybe they are goblins, is that what you're saying? What if they are, yeah. You see, this is the level of retardation I'm dealing with on a daily basis. So, did so, Joe react to the to the? No, the he does. He's he does what he react. always. He already said he goes whenever he's in the media or something happens. He just gets off it for a couple of days. He's yeah. like, ah, they're just gonna say stupid shit. He's not like us. Like we'll fight. We'll be like, fuck you, retard. This yeah, guy doesn't get yeah. into that. He's like, meh. He didn't I'm even like that address. Too, though. Yeah, you stopped fighting. I, I, I don't. Yeah, I'm the only one fighting yeah, online. Yeah, because you. The only thing you attract is more hate. So I've noticed. You're, you're, like whenever I have uh, anyone that's like, he said this, I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. You, in two days, no one's going to remember. That's true, yeah. That's yeah. when I fight, it lasts longer. But I mostly fight when I'm, if you catch me when I'm busy, you're not going to get a reply. But if I'm bored, yeah. I'm going at it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, we're super bored. Like I, I stopped answering people that uh, in, insult me on Facebook, and I started doing it again because I have nothing <laughs> else to do. Yeah. And a guy, like, last week or the week before, he was like, you have a lot of time on your hands. Like, why are you spending so many hours just insulting me? And I was like, I don't have shows. 
That's all I have left, buddy. <laughs> so you're gonna get it. I love that he realizes. Like I thought I wasn't yeah. gonna get a reply. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm a free man now. It, it is strange. I hope we don't yeah. go into lockdown, man. I'm nervous. What What were you saying, Yen? You started talking about uh, Rogan. Yeah, well, uh, about the fact that he, he he didn't even address the 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 fact that some shows didn't migrate from uh, YouTube to. To Spotify. Yeah, they didn't like the Alex yeah. Jones show. Like again. right now, uh, apparently, uh, someone said that all of them did go over, but there's one episode with Gavin and one episode with uh, Alex Jones. That was the best episode yeah. with Alex Jones. Alex Jones is always good on Rogan. Yeah. Because he's like, that. that's a thing that's weird about censoring a guy like Alex Jones. You're like, we can't let this guy talk. But if you let him talk, people listen to him and go, that guy's fucking mental. <laughs> but, so he, he's just entertaining. Yeah. It's yeah. eye-opening. It's eye-opening. You, you, yeah. yeah. When but you, you, no you. one is like, okay, he just changed everything I believe in. <laughs> yeah, Alex Jones just changed yeah. the game. Yeah. God damn it, the frogs when are gay. When he was gay. saying, yeah, or he, when he was yelling, I will eat my neighbors. No, the, be yeah. the best was, I will eat my, do you remember I will eat my neighbor's ass? Do you remember that? Yeah. I will eat your ass. Yeah. I'm gonna eat your ass. I'm gonna eat my yeah, neighbor's ass. I'll eat my neighbor's ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's aggressive. Yeah, and that's what you that said. That's, that's with like me. zero MDMA. Yeah, he, like he no MDMA. <laughs> no MDMA. This guy was out there eating asses. <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't ask for permission. You were a gentleman. Yeah. I was. You asked and said please twice. <laughs> but imagine if you were her. You're lying down. There's a giant on top of you, and he's like whispers in your ear. Please let me shove my face up your ass. And then when you tell him no and you expect to leave, he's like. Please, he's coming yeah. up. How the fuck do you yeah. feel? You're like, I'm in a fucked up position right now. What if this guy just shoves his face up my and ass? Plus, like, probably between the please he's coming up and the can I eat your ass, there was a 45 seconds of, I love when, when you call me Big Pop. But. <laughs> <laughs> Were you doing any other, like, old, old, uh, Put your hands old school in the air. Uh, rap songs? Did you only do East Coast? Or no, you did, no. So, uh, sometimes I do... Uh, did you do West Coast? California like, Love? No, no. Sometimes I do uh, Pop Smoke in an interview where it goes, uh, I'm a slut. I'm a whatever. Turn me up. <laughs> like that. So it's always Notorious B.I.G. No, that was, no, pop, that was smoke. Uh, pop Smoke. Okay. I'm oh, yeah. sorry. This is recent. So okay. you, weren't, you weren't doing any type of West Coast shit? You no. didn't go to here and you're like, fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here, here's what I realized also when I took the MDMA. What left, uh, one of the senses that left for me is that if I do something awkward, sober, I'm about to, I'll think like, oh, this might be awkward. Don't do this, you fucking idiot. But that left completely on the MDMA. So I was like unhinged. That's crazy. Because shame is the only thing keeping us from getting yeah. killed by this animal. <laughs> so when he loses that shame, that is dangerous. Are you worried about going into a place where everyone wants to have sex, or well, some people want to have <laughs> sex with you on on uh, MDMA, or nah. does that excite you? It excites him because at one point I forgot. To, at one point he just yelled out. Do you remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. So are you are you okay? You think when you go you're gonna be fine at the club? And he's like, I'm gonna fuck everyone's wife in there. He started yelling. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck everyone's wife. God oh, damn. Yeah. God. Oh, cause like, yeah. oh. And I saw you when you put your dick on the oh. counter. You put your dick on the counter? No, but it was in counter? his pants. Do you remember when you got up, put your dick in the Oh, yeah, I was uh, testing he, something out. He was That's grinding cool. on the counter. He was. I was just. I was just. Yeah. Uh, cause I saw him, I was like, why is he on his tippy toes? You know, you look over and he pushed himself up. Yeah, like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what so the fuck is he doing? Fucking the no, yeah, he was fucking the No, he wasn't oh, fucking. God. He but put he his dick rubbing. on top and he was pushing onto it. He's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, Poseidon, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. I'm vibing, bro. I'm grooving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No! The man tried to fuck. The man tried to fuck a tabletop and uh, we granite think it's going to be safe. A granite countertop. A granite countertop that felt granite amazing. granite countertop, okay? Don't disrespect <laughs> the counter like that. <laughs> oh, we, had a, we had a moment. By the way, uh, I, don't, I, t I think I told, did I tell you? Um, so I ordered pizza while I was away so that everyone could eat, you know? So like the fucking girls dealing with him at least eat. And I don't know how the fuck I did it, but I put the wrong address initially in the, like I put like an address two or three buildings down. So the guy called me and I was backstage ready to go do my set. So I was, you know, like trying to get 
ready for it. And I was like, I don't know this number. Did Poseidon kill someone? Like, who is this, you know? So I answer, and the guy's like, Move address, you know, wrong address. Like, what the, who is it? What the fuck do you want? He was, uh, you know, he's asking me in French, but I'll say it in English. He's like, did you order food? I was like, yeah. He's like, you, the, the, it's the wrong address for the restaurant. The restaurant is closed. So I was like, what the fuck does that mean? You're telling me, like, I ordered Uber Eats to a restaurant that's closed, but they prepared the food, and you went to get, like, what the fuck? How is that my fault? So he's like, it's your fault because you gave the wrong address. I go, I didn't build a fucking restaurant. I didn't open the restaurant. I didn't give the wrong address. So I'm just going crazy on him. And then I realized, he's like, no, 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 no. The address that I'm delivering to is wrong. The one that I'm at is a restaurant, and it's closed. And I was like, so why don't you say that, you fucking retard? You know, you get me to yell on the fucking phone. So then I had to give him the correct one. I was like, do you mind going? He's like, no, no, it's only a few buildings down. And he goes, but you better change it because a lot of it. And I just hang up like, motherfucker, like you're going to tell me I better. Like, obviously, I'm, an, I'm not going to keep a mistake. But he opened up by saying the restaurant is closed. Yeah. So what he does that tell me? Thought, when he showed up at that restaurant, he was like, this place probably sucks. <laughs> <laughs> They're ordering <laughs> food from another restaurant. You know, like, the, you show up, you're like, you guys have pizza? Yeah, we have pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you want A&W instead? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. So no, we, he, they got the pizzas finally. Oh yeah, the other thing is when I showed up, this kid made a fucking mess. There was drinks everywhere, there was pizza boxes. He made a fucking mess of the house. I was very upset with him. No respect. Did you clean up Excuse after? Me. I did, I, I yeah. helped clean up. He, okay. he watched me. Well, like I attempted to clean up. He, this was his attempt to clean up. Just rubbing your dick on plates? Bro, I, I could roll cigarettes amazing or high. That was his help. Oh yeah, because you started rolling your cigarettes. Yeah. Like you're a goddamn cartoon cowboy. Yeah. yeah. Basically. How much how much money do you save by rolling your cigarettes? Four hundred and thirty dollars a month. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Okay. But when he sits and rolls them, he looks like a villager from the province of Pyongyang. Like he's just, yeah. he's just sitting there fucking hey, look, it's very in in Europe. <laughs> okay, it's very cool in Europe to roll your cigarettes. It's the biggest thing in the Albanian but villages. Like Eastern Europe? Like how east do you have Not to all go of Europe. for it to be cool? All of Europe. <laughs> Like Slovenia? Yeah. yeah. No, no, like it's very big in Slovenia. Wherever they still have danger of landmines exploding, it's very, very cool, bro. If everyone looks exactly like Borat. <laughs> yeah. Why buy a cigarette? You make your own cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> so so how much how much did it used to cost you a month to smoke? Uh, 500. Like 500? Five hundred. Five hundred? So yeah. now it only costs you a hundred? Seventy. 70. But where are you getting that tobacco? It's like it's like a reserve? Like no, Native depaneur. reserve? I don't need that From the store, yeah. Okay, so it's real tobacco. It's not like... No, no, no. It's uh, it's called Drum. Yeah, Drum, that, that's a tobacco brand. Yeah. yeah. You should get it from the natives, though. Why? It would be funny just having you talk with, like, Chief Eagle Claw or something. Yeah. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> he's like, I'm Chief Eagle Claw. Can, I rub, your, yeah, can like, I rub your feathers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your back. You probably got feathers back yeah, there yeah, yeah. too. Come on, bro. Bro, I don't want to sound gay, but do you have wings too? Like, what is happening? <laughs> Let's fly away together, Eagle Man. But that would be funny. Him meeting someone with a name like that, and him introducing himself as Poseidon. He's like, "We're gods, bro." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Also, another thing that left with the MDMA was uh, my appetite. That's true. Yeah, he didn't eat his yeah. pizza. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't eat. Even today, I tried to eat. Couldn't. I spat it back out. Well, today it's because you were upset about your... You thought you lost your penis. Yeah, that's true. When did your erection come back? It still hasn't come back. <laughs> okay. How many times did you try to jerk off today? Eight times. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... Hold on. Do you think there's just a chance... <laughs> 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 Eight times. God yeah. damn. That is so yeah. many times. Do you Six think, times at home and twice up here. Twice? Up, that's you what you were doing. <laughs> I you... thought he was taking a shit. I was like, oh, he has diarrhea. Oh, you motherfucker. But do you, you think maybe. trying to jerk off. Because he's nervous. He loves his bathroom penis. bathroom here? No, <laughs> I was just trying to see if I could get erect. By jerking off. Well, like. Like flicking? No, 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 no. Like I would put the porn. Usually I don't even have to touch He's it. He's in the bathroom upstairs watching porn on his okay, phone. Okay, look, look, look. I'm going to tell you how sensitive it is. Okay. I'll just be scrolling through Instagram and I'll see an Instagram model's ass and it twitches. It's like, it knows my dick, right? <laughs> like this time, I even put my favorite uh, porno that I like watching. Nothing. What, what was the name of the... Mom favorite? gets uh, stuck no, in no. the oven. Well, well my, one of my favorite ones is... Uh, 
It's from Swallowed. It's the one where the dude is getting his dick sucked by three chicks and they're like slobbering. It's like a mess. That's one of my favorite ones. I like it because it's a so, mess that I don't have to clean up. So it's great. <laughs> so uh, even that I didn't do it. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like maybe at the bordel I'll get an erection. It used to be a whorehouse. No, but it'll come back tomorrow. Probably the MDMA fucked with me. Do you Two think maybe your penis is scared because you've been trying to give it yeah. six beatings a day? You think every time no. you whip it out, it's like, fuck, not again, bro. Like, calm down. You think there's some of that happening? Last time it it's got me hard, you tried it. to fuck a countertop. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So maybe yeah. it's like, look, we should just hide. I got a hard yesterday. He tried to fucking stick me through a tabletop. Maybe that's why your yeah. penis is scared. He tried to fuck granite. It's quite possible. It's quite like possible now that Fred I think about Flintstone it. Fred Flintstone didn't fuck granite. <laughs> that is, yeah, you just try to fuck granite. Yeah, even Fred Flintstone wouldn't fuck granite. Look, I was testing something out. I was looking at the height. I was looking at my height. I was like, would this work? It's work. Are you trying to see if you could fuck someone? Yeah. I think height? you were trying to see if you could fuck the table. I he was going to wish for the table's no. ears. I'm pretty sure you're Why trying to show your dick. Like, you, it, that was the, the in-your-pants version of pulling your dick out. Uh, no, it wasn't that. You okay. are a pull-outer. We've established this. You already pulled it out unsolicited, remember? Once. But that's one time Once. too many as far yes, as the ladies yes, are concerned. but look, look, look. Then I learned my lesson. Who did you pull your dick out in front? <laughs> I said it, uh, I think it was, uh, when was it, last week? A girl he went on a date with. Okay, uh, oh yeah. That's a girl right. that he's, the girl that you didn't like that was too fat for you? Is that the one? Yeah, but we started making out and shit. And like I got he's hard. Like, Ugh, I hate this girl. She's too fat. So I made out with her and then I pulled my I dick out. I had already committed. I had already committed. We started making out. My, my dick got hard. So I was like, yeah. You want to suck my Maybe dick? Maybe I should show her. I, I go to, well, I go to her. You want to suck this dick? <laughs> Wait, did you say it like that? That's like a question of a you question. You want to suck you this wanna dick? Suck this dick? <laughs> That's like you're asking her and yourself. <laughs> and she goes, no, it's the first date. I'm not sucking your dick. And that's when I went, oh, are you sure? And then I did the. And then you pulled oh, it yeah. out. So you asked her, do you want to suck my dick? She said no. And you were like. How about if I show it to you? Yeah. <laughs> and and then, then what did she say when you showed it? She's like, yeah, not going to happen. So like, all right. I put it back in, open the door. Like, like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I can take a hint, madam. And he puts it in. <laughs> it's not that kind of a party. It's all right. I'm out of here. Lesbian. Look, it was, after, it was after a breakup uh, that uh, I started the relationship. I love I imagining a- you do that not on a first date, <sighs> but in a shoe store. <laughs> When you're just, when you're talking to the saleswoman. Want to suck my dick? <laughs> you're like, sir, are you here for sneakers or want to suck my dick? Uh, no, sir. Huh? My dick. Are you sure? No, <laughs> no should, uh, sir, this is a shoe store. You're like, yeah, all right, you're lost. Uh, I can take a hint. At least your shoes are overpriced anyway. Yeah. And he walks out. <laughs> oh, shit. You're like a South Park character. Yeah. Every time I imagine you walking out, I do the wobble. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, I've done ridiculous shit in my yeah, life. Yeah, when there, you count it, yeah. There's a guy that sent us a, a message this week, the owner of a, a swinger club. Are we going, or, or well, and I'm saying we, is he going to that swinger club? Uh, I, I haven't spoken to him. I'm going to reach out to him this week. I have my uh, our chaperone. Uh, I trust the chaperone. She knows what she's talking about, so I'm going to have her investigate everything first. Okay. She's going to decide. Because she also told me that there might be a danger now with this code orange, right? Uh, what if swingers don't want to do it? And I don't think it's going to be a problem. Swingers, I mean, they're going to be swinging. Look, right? we all know me going there, the real danger is me, not yeah. this code orange bullshit. Because look, I, let's be honest, like, if the fear of herpes or AIDS doesn't get you, COVID isn't going to do a goddamn thing. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're safe. I know I'm safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. From COVID? Yeah, yeah COVID's scared of you, bro. Are you kidding yeah. me? You're, don't worry, yeah. you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Are you scared of herpes? I don't think so. Because I always put a condom on. That's why. So okay, I'm not but, too but worried. But if the person has herpes, your balls can smack up against their balls or his asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta be safe. God damn you guys. <laughs> so yeah. So you're not scared of catching anything? Nah. Uh, you know, you know the amount of times I have 
gone uh, on on crazy like sex binges. Yeah. And sometimes it has happened where I've gone in raw. And I do tests and it, they all come back negative. I'm not like I used to be very afraid, but now I'm like ah. I'm I've had a lifelong clean sheet, but only because I'm afraid. Yeah, me too. Um. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I have a. I've never gotten anything because I'm afraid and I'm a Same. germaphobe. Yeah. So, like, I, I'd be afraid to catch anything. And plus, like, for one night stands when I was single, I was like, I, I don't know this person. I, so I'd put like nine condoms on. Yeah, yeah I you was get like, scared. Yeah, I don't want to be inside of someone I don't know. But none of my fears are rational because when I was flying back from Toronto last time, I really, really had to take a shit when I was at the airport. And the bathroom that was available was disgusting. I put paper, but I was still so disgusted that I actually thought, I was like, I'm going to get AIDS from taking a shit on this toilet seat. Like, that's what goes in my head. I get super paranoid. Yeah. Was there a man sitting on the toilet seat? Is With that his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I get super disgusted for shit like that. I get, I'm like, oh, I don't want to catch something. I don't want to catch something. So that's what's been preventing me from catching something is being paranoid. Yeah. So this guy. That's not, why there's no danger for COVID for you, I think. I don't know because COVID, the way they make it sound, I can get it from anything. Yeah. Like the way they make it sound is Charles came here. He's got a little bit of COVID, a little bit of the AIDS. And then he opens it up and then I drink it and I get it. Like, I, I think know. though it's, it's pretty hard to get. COVID? Yeah. Un- unless you're, you're not careful. But if you are careful, I think it's safe. Well, I was not careful for the longest time and I never caught it. Dude, during, never, don't you remember yeah. during the height we sent him live? Yeah, he was yeah, at the yeah. airport and at, Chinatown. Chinatown. Yeah. I was going back and forth between Quebec yeah. City. Like it wasn't a thing. Like it didn't even exist. I yeah, like, yeah, I remember that too. He was going yeah. up to people talking to him. He was asking for flights to Vancouver. You remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. Like I panicked for a week, bought a machete and a tomahawk. I'm like, ah, this ain't shit. And then went went by my normal life. Yeah, that is true though. I think he's proof positive that it might not be as bad as we think. Cause he was at the airport every day, no mask, no brain, <laughs> sometimes shoeless, mm-hmm. and. He went everywhere. He went to Chinatown when they told him to avoid Chinatown. And he fucking, he's fine. He ate food from everywhere yeah. in the city. Yeah. God damn it. You're, he's the odd man out. He's why we have conspiracy theorists. Yeah. He's, he's uh, you, you know the show Last Man on Earth? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's me. This, yeah. is the la- this is it. This is, this is the last hope for humanity, folks. Yeah. Years of evolution. <laughs> yeah. Years so of evolution COVID have led us to this. when COVID gets worse and we end up all dying, it'll just be you. And fucking that, tabletops and that sexy granite yeah yeah yeah. that's all it's gonna be he's like not gonna fuck all the tables no one's gonna judge me <laughs> yeah isn't that fuck this true yeah you yeah. unless he got it and this motherfucker's asymptomatic yeah maybe go get a covid test <laughs> why just for why you're about I have, to i had no you, symptoms you're cool with taking drugs and fucking strangers but you draw the line at covid test yeah you're right He's like, COVID test? What am I, gay? No, bro, I'm not doing that. I'll go fuck a stranger. Yeah, that's cool. Would you take oh, a COVID shit. test? Yeah, why not? The only thing I hate about COVID tests is waiting in line. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I don't want to wait in line. Like, the other day, I was going to go to Aphrodite and grab, like, a little sandwich. To where? To, I, what? Oh, sorry. I it's keep Greek forgetting. Bakery. Sorry, it's a Greek bakery. Okay. Uh, What's the name of it? Aphrodite. Aphrodite, okay. yeah. How do you say it, though? Aphrodite. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so then I was driving by and I had to be somewhere and then I saw like, it was like a lineup of five people. But as soon as I saw the lineup, I was like, oh, fuck this shit. I'm not going to wait in line like yeah, some peasant. That. I'm just going to walk in. The worst was I had to wait at Ikea in line. That was fucking brutal. When you got the wrong table? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tables. Tables. Yeah, he got two for my new studio. He got two of the wrong tables. Two of the wrong. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to send him back and the new ones look cooler. Yeah. Okay. So it was a happy accident. Yeah. And one time I went to Winners for underwear and I had to wait. And but they're I'm, like, sir, did you see the sign? You do not belong here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I would took a while. Yeah. No, there's something that, to like now with the COVID. Lineups uh, seem super long. Yeah. But they're not that long since everyone is like six feet apart. Yeah, there's a bit of that. And I think just people are frustrated. I think people are just frustrated in general in life. Mm. So our fuses, I think, are shorter because of all the quarantining. All, you know, everyone's already on it. People are losing their jobs. Businesses. So, yeah, so you're already frustrated. And then you're like, fuck, now I have to wait in line too. Fuck lines. Fuck your line. That's what's happening. If there's another lockdown now, whew, people are already protesting. Yeah. 
I don't even know what they're protesting this time. I saw people in Old Montreal. Somebody sent me a video. I didn't really watch it. But I just saw a video of people in Old Montreal. Yeah, they were protesting uh, no masks. And Again? they had Trump 2020 flags. Like they're Americans. Oh, and yeah. The, there was uh, another protest, too, that was really small. That was against capitalism. But this time, there was like generally when they do those, there's like thousands of people. But this one was had like seven people. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it they need maybe sad. some marketing. They got to put some more money into yeah. that. You got to put some money in. <laughs> yeah. But it's with all the money the government's giving people, the people that would have gone to that protest are like, this is fucking nice. Yeah. I like <laughs> I like having money to buy shit. Yeah, I like people's yeah. taxes now. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how you do an anti-capitalist march here nowadays and then promote it. Because if you really want to promote it, you're going to have to use capitalist methods. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like posting it on Facebook or something. Yeah, you got to use social media. Yeah. How else are you going to, what are you going to do? On You're your going to send people letters. Yeah. On your $1,000 phone. Yeah, it doesn't make any, all of this is fucking stupid. Mm. What people should care about, the people that always complain about this, is like, for example, uh, I'm not saying we shouldn't have phones, but let's say our phones, the fact that they were a lot of times built by what's basically slave fucking labor, how about you look out for them? How about you look out for the Chinese peasants that were taken mm-hmm. advantage of, you know, or the Indonesians, or we fuck all these people over. Like there's a part in the phone that is only found in the Congo, and uh, the, uh, over there it's all slaves, right, that are working, or technically they're not slaves, but they're... I think technically they're slaves, but they're not called slaves. Yeah. Well, also, uh, I believe the same thing, but then there was a video explaining that basically uh, Ch- uh, China and all these countries, Indonesia... They're in their industrial revolution. I know, I know. That's true. You know what I mean? So yeah. the um, injustices that people face here. Now they're facing it there. Now they're facing it there. So yeah. it's just like a cycle. You know? But does that justify it? It doesn't. No, I'm not saying it justifies it, but it is what it like, is. Don't worry about it, kid. I was raped too once. Go through it. Like, no, the, yeah. let's, try it. let's not do it to them. Let's not fuck them it's over. It's weird, though, how like the phone, whenever you think about all the... Like the the little Chinese kid that made your phone probably ended up committing suicide. That you feel really bad, but then when you see the new features on the new phone, you're like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> My life makes sense That now. kid's a hero. Yeah, well, appa- apparently, apparently they're happy to take those jobs. It's like an opportunity No, no, obviously because you leave your village. I know all yeah, about yeah, that yeah, in the way yeah. they con- – it is, but we could take way better care of people that were yeah. – that are basically contributing to the way we live, Right. We could do the bare minimum. I uh, we, I mean, was, the companies, not us. I we wish you there was control like this one company. No one would buy it because it had cost nine million dollars. But if they made one phone that was made in Canada or in the states, it would be too complicated. You know why? It, it can't be made in Canada. They're going to be arguing over the keyboard. Yeah, but but uh, if all you digital. Make it, yeah, yeah, all digital. Uh, I guess and it can be that more expensive, by the way, because the reason why they're expensive is because the profit margins. They want to keep the same mm. gross profit margin. That's why. But if they would reduce their profits and use that difference to pay regular wages, we would still pay the same. That's they would a- just not make enough money. But they don't want to lose a penny. That's what it really is. It's not Black- a phone doesn't actually cost a thousand dollars to make. Yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah it probably costs like nine cents. Yeah, fifty-five bucks. Fifty-five. Yeah, 55 it's less than a hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. So if they made it here, it would probably cost two hundred bucks. Let's yeah. say, yeah. But they don't. So want, that's it's the what they should do for BlackBerry. You know how BlackBerry never dies, and they every year they're like, "We're coming back." Yeah. How does BlackBerry yeah. still exist? Yeah, I don't know. Right? How the fuck? That's it's still around, right? Yeah. But they made so much money. Like, I remember like ten years ago, a uh, BlackBerry wanted to buy uh, a hockey team in the oh, wow. Toronto area. And the guy was like, I'm buying a hockey team. And then the iPhone 1 came out. And then six months later, he was like, I can't even afford season tickets anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, for a while, BlackBerry was the only good phone yeah. that existed. Yeah, Steve Jobs f- yeah. fucked Steve them. Steve Jobs fucked them yeah. deep in the ass. Yeah. Apparently, he, oh yeah, he's throwing change for yeah. Steve. But yeah, <laughs> fucking Steve Jobs apparently was a piece of garbage. Yeah, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So people are like, he was a G- this guy was a hero. I was like, mm, I don't know, this guy. He didn't really like, he didn't care about people that he worked with. He didn't care about the factories he was opening yeah. up. He didn't care about anything. He's like, fuck these people. Yeah. People need a thousand songs in their goddamn phone. That's all he cared. He, this guy was a piece of garbage, yeah. yeah. But so is Bill Gates. Apparently Bill Gates stole shit too. They're all assholes. Yeah, Bill Gates stole from, but uh, Bill Gates has always gotten like bad press. People like to hate Bill Gates. I think it's because he looks reason. goofy. 
Yeah. You like to make fun of the goofy looking people. Well, he... he <laughs> Go on, Fonz. Didn't he uh, get sued for... Uh, hey! <laughs> hey! hey. Yeah. I, I took some MDMA! <laughs> I took some oh. MDMA! How you doing? Oh, you tell me you wouldn't fuck this table! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his fucking granite, bro! Yeah, I went there. I already said that joke. He does, you yeah, don't no, even no. know who the font is. I just said it. I don't do you know, know who, who it is. No, yeah. but I'm just so fucking doing, doing the an voice. you impression of someone you don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what he okay. said to me today during my live stream? I mentioned Richard Pryor. He's like, yo, who the fuck is Richard Pryor? And he looked at me. I was like, you can't be involved in comedy and not, <laughs> not know who Richard Pryor is. I feel like I know who it is. Did you Google him after? Because no, here's he, the thing. He a normal person that wouldn't know who Richard Pryor is, and then someone would shame you into not He's knowing Googling who he is. He's Googling live on air. You'd go home and go, hold on, fuck, hold on, hold on. I need to find out who Richard Pryor is and listen to all his shit. Hold so on, hold on, hold Google on. Google him, then da, he'll watch da, the da, toy. Da, da, or da. he'll watch like some shitty Superman movie. 3. Yeah. Oh, this guy rings a bell. What bell? <laughs> I've seen him and stuff. Hold on, hold on. Mug shots. <laughs> no, I forgot what I saw. I'm gonna check him after. In stuff. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm putting it away. Okay. Yeah. That's what you should have done that night. Yeah, that's true. Put it away quicker. <laughs> Apparently, Richard Pryor. I was reading his biography, and that was his dream that after his death, he'd be remembered, and future generations would be like, "Oh yeah, I've seen him in stuff." Yeah. That- <laughs> yeah. He's living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know what he told me today? He's like, oh, there was like a conspiracy, bro. I found out. You know that guy, the comedian, bro? He had white hair. He was old, and he was always wearing black. And I was like, George Carlin? He's like, yeah, that guy, he was assassinated because he would say a lot of truths. I was like, he was an old man. What, what are you talking about? No, like, I told you that the, apparently the theory goes as is that he was an assassinated because he would say the truth on stage. So they waited until he was 68 to assassinate him? Basically. Or, yeah, and not doing shows anymore. Yeah. They're like, okay, this is the perfect No one's going to suspect a thing anymore. He used to come out with a special a year. Now he's doing the same jokes three nights a week. Yeah. Time for murder. <laughs> yeah, they waited. They're like, yeah. I think we should kill him. And then I got a better idea. What if Father Time kills yeah. him? <laughs> Steve, you're a genius. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking so stupid. Yeah. Of all the people. I don't know. I know. I'm just saying that's what I... Who read. do you think killed uh, John F. Kennedy? Some dude with a big gun. No, for real. Like, do you oh, think no, I have no clue. Do you think there's anything, any conspiratorial thoughts around that? JFK? I never... Actually, you know what? I searched search them up. I never searched you, any of them You, Mr. Up. Undersquare Lobby, Mr. Conspiracy, uh, never looked into the JFK assassination? I never did. Holy Who shit. Who are you? I don't know what's happening here. Holy shit. That's crazy. You know why? Because I watched the Umbrella Academy. <laughs> so you think this is gonna be very stupid? Prepare so you think for it. you think Rob uh, and his friends got together? Yeah, bro. That that short and kid. went back in time. Yeah. I'm gonna text him and tell him that his show is ruining uh, our our young generation. Young. You guys have are you, too. I'm like 35. Have you got? Have you guys ever uh, uh, heard about the conspiracy theory that Alex Jones is actually Bill Hicks? Yeah, I've heard about this. People actually in Texas Who asked me about that. Who the fuck thinks that Alex Jones is Bill Hicks? Someone in Texas they asked me about that. They don't even look the same. Yeah, somebody in Texas asked oh, no, me about that. Oh, no, they really that. look the same. And they have the, the same dental uh, But they structure. have the same dental records. The, but they don't look the same. They don't know. They no. don't look the same. They're not. They the have person. the same accent because they're both from the same state. They don't look the. They, they, they look similar. Yeah, like two white guys. Okay. Yeah, that one kind, of them's yeah. a fat white guy. The other one's not a fat white guy. Yeah. Well, the, the the theory goes that uh, Alex Jones was a persona from uh, Bill Hicks to kind of blow up the you know to make it so big about the conspiracy uh, world. That he would come out one day and ha ha! I was not really uh, Alex Jones. All I these conspiracy that was uh, 
Uh, you know what that? I think that is. I think that's stupid people that didn't know who Andy Kaufman was. Yeah. And they mixed up Andy Kaufman and Bill Hicks. Maybe. And yeah. they were like, you know how Bill Hicks was always pretending to be that other guy, <laughs> the lounge singer. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe he has another character. Because you remember Alex yeah. Jones one day just goes on air and just does this. Psych. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. Yeah. But no, it's not him. I heard that too. Somebody asked him about it in Texas. Plus, uh, Bill Hicks was like building something. Yeah. And then it, and he never made any money. So it's like if he was like, okay, here's the thing. I'm about to become rich. How about I fake my death? And in 11 years, I become an internet weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. It doesn't, no, I, I heard that, Jan. Uh, there's a lot of these that Poseidon informs me of. They don't make By any sense. By the way, sense. I don't believe them. I'm just putting it out now. I just I find them. By the way, well, what's what's the latest one that uh, that you've gotten into? Uh, that you actually got into? Like, look, like I, honestly, these, I can't deep. really get into these too much anymore because okay. they're very wacky and crazy. Even for I love me. that you're li- you're you're f- trying to turn your back on on your people. Your people, they made you. Yeah. <laughs> they made the Undersquare yeah. Lobby made him who they he is today. Fucking, yeah. Because they're, well, a bunch they're of fucking wacky. Like one conspiracy on the Titanic was that they were carrying us uh, Egyptian on the what on, on the, the Titanic t- on the Titanic the Titanic the Titanic okay and that they were carrying a fucking Egyptian sarcophagus on it and it, it, it accidentally opened on the Titanic and that's how it fucking sank like fucking mummies bro crazy <laughs> shit bro you know so like sometimes it's like ah that's stupid okay. everyone knows that it was sharks <laughs> no no everyone Someone knows had fucking the sharks and snakes. <laughs> Everyone knows it was an insurance scam. Yeah, that's what he thinks. Mm. That doesn't make any sense. Do you think it's an insurance scam? <sighs> no, I don't think that. I'm saying everyone thinks. You thought thinks. about it when okay. he first told me. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. And you no, thought and you thought that I was going to be impressed. I remember. You're like, bro, listen to this, bro. What I, if? No, no, I told, you, I, I told you it could be possible. If you think about it. We're going to kill a couple but, hundred people? Collect okay. some Here's insurance. Here's the thing. For a uh, perfect a insurance scam... We kill the richest people because it, it was all the richest people in Europe. So we're oh, going to yeah, kill true. all of the richest people in Europe, and then we're going to make $14,000 on an insurance scam. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I'm just saying if one of them is to be the plausible one, I think I'm going to go with the insurance scam over fucking sarcophagus. You know which one? Over a goddamn iceberg. Yeah, I would go with the iceberg. I would go with them hitting the iceberg, and you're like, icebergs aren't real, bro. Don't no, no, icebergs no. are the fake. Ice, the, 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 no, no. In when all was the, the last time you no, saw no. an iceberg in Montreal? No, no. <laughs> Never. They don't exist. In all Fuck, of the theories, true. the ship hits the iceberg in all of them. Mm. But it hits the iceberg for different reasons. Because the insurance guy pushed it. So the captain's like, oh, we got to do that insurance scam. Let's hit that iceberg. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. I know, but it was just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, governor, there's an iceberg. You know, like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, let's hit it. Who would want to hit an iceberg? It was an accident. Oh. No, obviously. Maybe do you believe Sandy Hook happened or didn't happen? Remind me what Sandy Hook is again? It was that elementary school where a mentally uh, deranged individual with a leather jacket walked in. And he had his hair cut. Co- he looked like Andrew Dice Clay, and he started shooting the kids. He looked exactly like you. He looked like you, yeah. really, uh, except he had uh, some kind of other problems. And and he he could get his dick hard. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so he walked in, he shot a bunch of kids, God teachers. Damn. Yeah, and then uh, people were thinking it's not even a real thing. It never really happened. They're all actors. That's kind of what fucked Alex Jones. Yeah. Oh shit! I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Look into it, bro. I'm gonna look into it. But I, I had heard the Boston Marathon was fake. The Boston Marathon was not fake. The no, no, they, no. So you, I, I'm they not don't saying run, it was fake. They don't run in Boston. No, 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 the, bro. Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. Hold, hold on. on. I, I misphrased he's that. Saying, saying the it's... bombing of the Boston Marathon. Yeah, was he's, fake. Like, look, he's yeah. like, look, the Boston Marathon. I've been looking into this, right? They call it a marathon, but I've been calculating everything. These motherfuckers. It is a triathlon. Here's the thing. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> That's going. No, no. The Boston bombing really happened. Yeah, it no, wasn't no. a real marathon. Because those fuckers stopped running after the explosions. <laughs> <laughs> they only technically ran 11 miles. I have an update. Not a marathon. Have you <laughs> noticed there's theories for everything? Yeah. Like yeah. conspiracy theories. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Even the one with, uh, with Mike. Selling masks. N- yeah. 
That yeah. one. That you work with Bill Gates, the yeah, force yeah. master. Yeah, the you're, I'm, you're, I'm, uh, yeah. That's a good conspiracy. Yeah, that you're in cahoots with Bill Gates. I'm Bill, yeah. You call him, you're like, hey, Bill Savo. Yeah. <laughs> Yan, Yan is hooked up in all those. Yan, he's, too. He's him and Michelle. At first, it was Yan, just. Yan, you're working for the deep state, bro. At first, it was just him and Michelle, so I thought it was really funny that they, they were getting all these fucking weirdos calling them traitors. I was like, ah. And then they, they came after me. And I was like, this isn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's insane about that, though? People are accusing Bill Gates of implanting a microchip through a vaccine. But then fucking Elon Musk comes out. He's like, guys, I'm literally going to carve out a spot in your skull and literally put a fucking chip in your brains. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Thank you, Elon. Yeah. Elon's the hero. Oh, I have an update of a story that I said last week. Remember last week how uh, people frowned upon my reaction to my hockey goalie? Uh, having like heart palpitations and yeah. having to leave the game or whatever. So yesterday I go, I'm in the locker room getting dressed. I was like, hey, is this guy here? And then the guy next to me, Steve, he's like, uh, actually, I don't know if you heard this because I heard your attitude last week when you said he's a pussy, he should walk it off. <laughs> you know that uh, it was a real heart attack and he got like three stints in his heart or something. He, you know, he almost died. He goes, now that you know it's real, he goes, how does that make you feel? And I go, honestly, it makes this all a lot funnier. This is fucking hilarious. So you mean when I told him to walk it off, it was a real heart attack he was walking off? He's like, yeah. I go, this is amazing. This is a great story. This yeah. is funny for me. And he's like, well, there's a card outside on the table. You better fucking sign it and show your support. I said, okay. So I went to the card <laughs> and I signed. No, you did it. You walk did it. it off, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> sign my name. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I doubled down. I got with you, I doubled bro. down, bro. He said, does it bother you? It's like, well, it makes it funnier. And I fucking put it in writing, bro. That's but how you I know feel. what? <laughs> you know what, though? He's probably going to read it and he's going to think it's cute. Yo, well, how funny would it be if he reads it? He's like, ha, 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 oh, fuck! And he dies. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if he does die, though. Yeah. How his wife will be like, God damn it. She opens up the card. It just says, walk it off, pussy. Yeah, and he and starts laughing. Him. He dies. And then she's like, oh, man, I'm upset that my husband died. But that guy's fucking funny, man. He yeah. killed him. <laughs> fucking killed, bro. <laughs> so that's what I did. Yeah, they. I think they're getting ups- like I think they're getting fed up with me, because they're all you real think? adults. Okay. Right, real adults. The, there's a lot of assholes there too, but you know they're like trying to take serious shit serious, and then they have me yelling. <laughs> but like, uh, I, do you think that people would like that? I, a, I don't know. A... They're a little sensitive because I remember there was a conversation in the locker room last year. That's when I realized that uh, I can't be normal me. Because they're a little sensitive because they were talking about another hockey game. And then the locker room, yeah, the guy's really, um, he really got mad because the guy was making a homophobic uh, slurs to him or something. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. And then I was listening and I go, well, what happened? He's like, well, it was pissed because the guy kept calling him a little bitch. And I go, well, how did he react? He's like, well, he started whining and he told the ref and he told the rest of the team and he almost cried. Yeah, and I'm like, like a little bit. Yeah, and I told him, what a faggot. And then as soon as I said it, one guy was like, ha ha, yeah, he started laughing. And then I was like, you can't say that. Yeah. I was like, I just fucking did. And I don't want to hear any lip from you, faggot. Like, like, like I'm in my 40s, and I, re- I remember when I was little, and we used to play hockey, you'd, you'd want to insult people's mom or their religion or their whatever. Yeah. Just, just to like keep them off their game. Yeah. That used to be part of the you thing. Fuck, you bust yeah. balls. Like in a locker room, like I've been, faggot is the least that I've been yeah. called. Like I've been called some crazy ass shit yeah. in locker rooms, you know? Yeah. That's how like, it is. Yeah. Us backstage, the craziest shit I'm being told. Yeah, yeah I don't take it personally. Like hockey, like 20 years ago, people would have been saying shit about Greek people. Of, of course. Just to piss you they off. They still do now. I don't yeah. give a shit. I laugh. Like when, when I was little, if I'd be playing with English people, they'd call me uh, a frog. And if I was playing with French people, I was le snagle. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's, uh, as long as they don't call me a fag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm still le snagle. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I don't mind that. I, I feel like it's part of that culture. Yeah, you're just guys busting balls. Like, I don't take it personally. Yeah. You know? I hear all the gay jokes, you know, being Greek and stuff. Like, you're gonna fuck with the ass, bro, and stuff yeah. like that. And then I'm like, no, but my fucking gay buddy here will, you know? So, I just saw him. Um, yeah, bro, bend over. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna so do you about just, it? You just fuck around. You don't take it personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not a real thing. You're just shooting the shit. You're definitely gonna get those jokes next week in the swinger club. Yeah, like what jokes? The, the jokes about Greeks. And yeah, what's your name? Poseidon. Sex. Oh, I've heard a million of those jokes. Yeah. Yeah. But you're going to hear them next week. 
high on MDMA. You know, I used to tell my coworkers because they used to use those jokes on me. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to fuck me in the ass? And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, you better watch out, bro. Like, all serious. And then I'd make them so nervous that every time I'd, I'd pass, like, behind them, like, behind the counter, they'd, like, fucking jitter and shit. I found it so funny. It's like gay it was sexual so harassment, funny. bro. You were a gay predator yeah. in that No, place. obviously didn't fuck them in the ass. No, obviously. You know? He's like, like, what are we doing on the it's counter? It's a fucking work environment, bro. Like, you got to stay you professional. You were going to fuck a counter top. Like, is that it's a he... work environment. It's, I was professional. I told them I was going to fuck <laughs> them in the ass. I scared them. <laughs> but I'm... since it's a business, I was professional. <laughs> That's basically what yeah. you said. Yeah. But you should have went next level. You should have been like, look, I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to fuck you in the ass. But where does your father live? <laughs> you should do. You should do shit like that. That's yeah. what you should do. go next level. Fuck yeah. with them. Oh, I had a coworker. Oh my god, it was hilarious. That's a weird segue. Well, you just reminded me of this. You I, no, no, I went you really. Him in the ass. I went really hard on this guy. In okay? the mouth or the ass? No, no, like joking wise. Joking okay. wise. So, so listen to this. So this guy. By the way, before I start the story, uh, this is why I got fired, and there's a pending rape yeah. charge. <laughs> yeah, let me let me tell you. <laughs> so then, uh, so this guy was Ukrainian. Off the boat, right? Off that boat directly from the Ukraine. So, I so didn't like, know there was a boat. boat from the Ukraine. So like, no, but he, like, he, like he was uh, an, an immigrant, right? Okay. So uh, an, a what? An immigrant, a an Ukrainian an immigrant. Immigrant. An immigrant. Immigrant. One of these. One of these. Look, I do this weird thing where I skip over words. I shorten them. So he got on a boat and then rode the the boat. Got on a train, and then took a plane. And yeah. uh, and he no, met no, him. No, no, no. Uh, right off the boat, meaning like. He just arrived, like, cause you know. I, I've never heard that expression. Me neither. Did you invent God that expression? It. No, I didn't. It's a good I heard one. It. It's a good. You should take credit yeah. for it. It's a good. One. That's a good one. God damn. It. <laughs> so, uh, so, so I used to. He was terrified of gay jokes, like terrified. Like terrified you? of gay jokes. Gay jokes. You couldn't say anything so gay you'd around do this a, guy. So you do a gay joke and he'd go ah, <laughs> like he was like he was afraid of gay well, jokes. He'd turn around and be like. Man, what the fuck are you saying, man? Like that. Like, and he'd get angry. He wouldn't like them at all. He was, he was like homophobic. Yeah. He was homophobic. Okay. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> I love how I did this whole accent just to say he's homophobic. I was retarded. <laughs> I was retarded. Anyways, so, so one day I mess with him and I go to him, bro, I forgot his name. Oh my God, it was some hilarious name. I go to him, bro. Nikolai. Yeah. <laughs> call him Big Sexy. It was so foreign, bro. We used to call him Nick, like some <laughs> refugee. It's crazy. So I go, to him, bro, would you suck a dick for a million dollars? I would tell him. And he got so angry. He goes, no, I'd never suck dick. For who would, have, would you suck a dick for a million dollars? I go, yeah, I would. And then he goes, okay, suck my dick now. I go, where's the money, bro? Where's the money? So I'd mess with him. Like, What's the fuck? Bring the fucking money, bro. Like and then his father came from the <laughs> Ukraine with money. <laughs> he the fucking sucked money? his dick and his father left. So then, because I was too committed to the bit, he would I just... I had to suck his dick. No. He would just get angry and walk off, storm off. So, so one day he's... Uh, get to the part where you sucked his dick. No, <laughs> I never sucked his dick. Okay. So we're all, sitting, we're all sitting at a round table having uh, our lunch break. And then, and then uh, me and this other coworker were making that same joke. We started sucking each other's dicks. No, no, no. And then him too is like, yeah, bro, I'd suck a dick for a million dollars. You know, he's like trying to be macho about it. And this guy's eating. And then, uh, and then he go, uh, we go, what's the video? He was watching a video also at the same time. I go, what's the video about? And he goes, uh, he goes, bees knees, like this. I go, yeah, bro, are you sure it's not about sucking dick for a million dollars? or some shit like that. And he got so angry. Me and all the other coworkers just started laughing. But then he wanted to fight. So then he fucking started throwing shit around like a crazy animal. And then he. he I will came, beat you up like we beat up homosexuals in my village. And, and then he, he came to fight me. So he does, you think you're a tough guy, stand up. And he, he puts his hands under my chin for me to stand up. So I stand up and I fucking shove him. Because I was like, Yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? It's a joke. Like, calm the fuck down, you fucking idiot. Don't be gay, bro. Wait, is that the story? God. Is that where it ends? <laughs> is that look, where it ends? Hold on. Every hold on. week he manages to fucking Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look, look, look. Mid-story. So did you fight him? No, no, no. Mid-story. I... So you didn't fight him? No. So he lifted you up. I shoved you pushed him, him. And then, and then, and like, then he like went another, back to the Ukraine. No, another co-worker separated us. Well, here's no, the hold thing. On, hold on. Hold on, please. please. Next, time, yeah. next time you ever feel the urge hold on, hold to on. tell this story. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you how you should say it more accurately. 
Hey, this one time I met a homophobic Ukrainian man. And ended there. That's it. That's the story. Well, hold on. I realized mid-story there was no punchline. And then I extended it a bit. Yeah. That's yeah. not how that works. Yeah. To, to try and figure out a punchline, I still couldn't figure Besides out a punchline. Besides, like, I told him be there at 6.15. It's now 6.20. I'm already yeah. late. I'm going to take the long way there. <laughs> it doesn't make He's any like, sense. You know, this story, story sucks. You know what would make it better? Time. Yeah. <laughs> well, because yeah. <laughs> I thought I could buy some time to figure out a punchline. I'm like, fuck, where's the punchline in this? And there was. There's no punchline. You just yeah. you fought a refugee yeah. who didn't like gay people. Yeah. yeah a basically. poor man that came to this country for a better life got hey. bullied by a Greek man. That's all I, it was. I, yeah. I, I fought a homophobe. Aren't I like super woke or some shit? Right You're now? A ho- no, but you are a homophobe. No, I'm not. The only thing that gets you mad is when we call you gay. That's why we call you gay. Because yeah. you're like it, a guy <laughs> from the 90s. Hey, bro, that's a little gay. It's not gay, bro. It's not gay, bro. It's your reaction. That's what makes everyone I'm laugh. not as gay as that guy from the Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Or a homophobe. That's why. Because it's funny because you're like that guy. You just, gay jokes just it, it go. It doesn't actually get me mad. Yeah, it does. No, it, it doesn't. Does. The only time it you ever get mad is gay you. jokes. It annoys you. It Whenever annoys we call you gay. Yeah, I could talk about your mom, anything. You're like, oh, whatever. But the second I call you gay, you fu- you don't like that shit at all. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I never That's noticed. the only time your dick really tingles. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do it. Why do you think we do it? I don't know. Yeah, we do it because it bothers you. That's why. It doesn't actually bother me. It fucking bothers you, yeah. <laughs> it's noticeable. You're red, you yell, sometimes you stop talking. There's been episodes where after we call you gay, you do this for 10 minutes. <laughs> no way. Yeah. No way. Yeah, it really bugs you. That yeah. is kind of funny, actually. Yeah. That's what we're saying. That's why we that do it. That is kind of funny. that We're psychologically like fucking you over, yeah. Well, because, uh, bro, it gets, uh, it gets boring a bit. That's honestly. what a faggot would say. So listen, guys, <laughs> if you want to follow... Uh, Gay icon Poseidon. He is on Twitter and on Instagram, the Poseidon69, where he will be six to nining variety of Ukrainian men on the regular. <laughs> and if you want to follow this gentleman right here, it's Mike Ward, legendary comedian. You go to mikeward.ca. There's a Patreon up there, patreon.com slash Suzekut. It is Mike Ward's French podcast. It is the number one French comedy podcast on the planet. Over 40 million downloads and fucking counting. Yeah. And you should get on his Patreon if you speak French tonight because tomorrow he has a very big guest on Suzukut. It is worth your Too time to watch. Two tomorrow, big guests. Yeah. It's your worth your time to watch it live. Uh, one of them is a comedy legend in Quebec. So and the other one's a comedy legend too. You got double legends? Yeah, two you only legends. told me one. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's three legends. Yeah. It's Mike and two other legends on that show. So it's going to be a legendary podcast. The other podcast. two are real legends. So. You're a real legend. Yeah. You want me to come break them? <laughs> <laughs> Only one legend left. How old is one of them? Like 70? Well, one of them is 85. The other one's in his... He's like six. I could take him. I could take yeah. them both. Yeah. So if you want me... I'll be... I'll be. I'll pull on RKO. I'll be the legend killer. I'll, uh, mm-hmm. I'll go wrestling on them. But yeah, no. So tomorrow, very big podcast. So you guys should join the Patreon. It's going to be a v- worthwhile live. Uh, Patreon.com slash Pantels for me. Pantelscomer.com for all of my stuff. And uh, thank you all for listening, watching, and go fuck yourselves. Yeah.